So, when rho is minimum, left hand side becomes maximum. Okay, so let's write this down. So, left hand side okay, is maximum when rho is minimum. Okay? So, how can we make left hand side become a maximum? Okay. So, when is left hand side maximum? Left hand side right here. Now, weight is weight. Okay? It's a constant. Okay? It doesn't change. Right? 2,000 pounds always stays the same. The only thing that can change now is normal force. Okay? So, normal force at that position, position 3, okay, is what? When rho is minimum. That is right before the car flies off the track. Okay? Just before that is. Okay? So, if the, uh, the rho is any smaller, then your car will start to float. Now, at that instant, normal force is zero. Okay? So, that's the, the instant that we consider. Okay? When normal force is zero. Okay? So, when it just starts to fly off the track. Okay? So, normal force is zero. Okay? So, this equation then becomes weight okay, equals weight divided by g, v3 squared divided by rho. Now, this instant then will give you the minimum rho. Therefore, once again, weight cancel out again. So, this equals, we move it around, so we move it through this to the other side. So V3 squared divided by G. Right? And V3 squared from before is 50 G divided by G. G, G can go out. Oh. This minimum rate of curvature is 50 feet. That's it.